doing? Well, I want to talk with you, Kate. I'm in a hurry. You can always find me at my store. Yeah, I know, Kate, but what we got to say is sort of private and confidential. Stay away from King Morgan. Stop trying to influence other people to vote for annexation. So that's it. Well, you listen to me. You can just save your breath. What this territory needs is more lawmen to run polecats like you out of the county. Well, in that case, Kate, I guess we'll just have to take you out of circulation until the end of the election. Johnson, do the driving. like trouble. Let's go, Dick. him up. What do you want to do with him, man? Oh, let him get on the horses. Get out of here. Hey, your sidekick here tells me you're the range rider. That's right, ma'am. Well, I'm glad to meet up with you. I'm Kate Dawson. I'm obliged for what you've done perfectly all right. As a matter of fact, we were on our way to your trading post to meet a Lieutenant Stone. Yes, I know. The Lieutenant's expecting you. Well, come on, let's get going. Lieutenant, we were instructed to give you our orders on arrival. I'm glad you got here. This proposed annexation has stirred up a lot of trouble. What's made it even worse, though, is that I've been given only a handful of men to arrange for the polling places. Well, that makes it pretty rough. How are the people out in the territory taking this proposed annexation? Most of the people are in favor of the idea, but that Kirby Wells and his outlaw element, well, they're trying to frighten the people from going out to vote. A couple of Kirby's men stopped me on the road into town a while ago, and if it hadn't been for the range rider and Dick West, I might have been missing for a few days. They're afraid of your influence, Kate. You should be more careful. Shucks. I've been wandering around these hills for 30 years, and nothing ever happened to me before. But they ain't gonna catch me napping again. How about King Morgan? Did you have any luck with him? Huh. Never even got to see him. That big Mike, that gorilla bodyguard, run me off. Well, this guy Morgan, he must be pretty important to the election. If we can win him over, Dick, annexation is almost certain. He's a power in this territory. The small ranchers will feel safe if he and his men are behind them at the polls. Sounds like we're going to have to persuade King Morgan to come around our way of thinking. Matter of fact, Dick and I will take a ride out there a little later on and have a talk with him. All right. But remember, you're completely on your own. 
Kirby Wells and his men quite naturally don't want law and order here. In fact, they'll do anything and everything they can to prevent it. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We've met guys like that before. Well, hope you have better luck than I have. Come on, I'll show you your rooms and clean up. See you later. Yeah. Thanks, Lieutenant. like where we came in, Dick. Well, they say bad pennies always show up again. I guess it's true. Shut up and come on. Kirby Wells wants to talk with you two. Get out. Here they are, boss. So you're the range rider, huh? You didn't bring us all the way out here just to ask us our names. That's what I like, a man that doesn't waste words. I'll get to the point. All right, I will. You're smart enough to know that a territory like this doesn't want to be changed. We're doing all right, just as we are, and we don't want any interference from outsiders. And you think you're big enough to keep law out of the territory? Even you're not that big. You know, that's what you think. <laughs> I was going to give you two a chance to work for me, but not now. Keep the kid here as a hostage. Then if Mr. King Morgan wants to go for annexation, you'll get your pal back, all right, in a long pine box. If anything happens to either of us, you'll enter the United States Army. You'll soon find out that I'm the law around here, gun law. Now get him to his horse. Come on, get out of here. Yeah. 
What's the matter? You think it takes two guys to watch me? Ah, shut up, kid. Where'd the range rider go, Johnson? I can do for you? Yeah. I'd like to talk to King Morgan. Sorry, mister, he ain't talking to nobody. You ought to know that, Kate. You was just out here. But we've got important business with him. Well, well, look at what's talking. Sorry, pal. Boss's orders. Now, you look here, Big Mike. You go in there and tell King that the range rider wants to see him. I don't care who he is. He ain't going inside. You want to bet? Yeah. I'll bet. I said the boss wasn't to be disturbed. what I heard about you. If you want to see the boss, there he is. Good morning, Kate. I'm King Morgan, gentlemen. What can I do for you? Well, Mr. Morgan, I'm the range rider. This is my saddle partner, Dick West. How do you do, sir? Howdy, Mr. Morgan. Well, we've come here to talk to you about the election tomorrow. Fine, let's sit down. Rosa, bring out some cool drinks for our guests. Well, the governor of Texas enlisted our aid to help on his annexation vote. But as I understand it, you're against it. On the contrary, I just can't figure out how it'll do me any good. Well, law and order is necessary in any territory. I employ enough men here, my boy, to enforce my own laws. Nobody bothers me. You're a very selfish man, King, and you've lived alone here so long, you don't care what happens to anybody else. And besides, we could have a town that we could be proud of. Kate, when I settled in this valley 35 years ago, there was nothing here but wilderness and Indians. Every day was a struggle to survive. Nobody helped me then. When it comes to a choice between law and lawlessness, I didn't know a man could be neutral, Mr. Morgan. Come on, give me it! Come on, come on, give me it! Oh, great. Here, here, here! Give the drum back to Philippe, Manuel. Not have any more fighting here. Go on back there and behave yourself. Yes, sir. Why interfere with the children, Morgan? Well, that drum belonged to Philippe, and he's too little to fight for it. That's the same position at the small rancher's end trying to fight Wells and his gang of outlaws. They're like little Philippe. They're not strong enough to protect themselves, and there's no law in the territory. I know, They're but... afraid to go to the polls, but they wouldn't be if you'd come out in favor of annexation. Every American citizen has the right to vote for what he wants or believes in. If we lose this privilege, we all might as well just toss in our chips. I guess you're right, young man. You too, Kate. I've lived here by myself for so long that I've forgotten that other people ever existed. I'll have my men spread word among the other ranchers that we're going to help them fight Kirby Wells and win this election. 
I'll have more take orders from you, Range Rider. Well, bless you, King. I'm going to give you a great big kick. Now, you sit down there. Well, you know, here, have a nice cold drink. Stop it. Help me, boys. Boys. Help me. See that, Sergeant? We'll take it out to Morgan's ranch and pick up the other box. Go, Range Rider. Wonderful, thanks to you. Well, folks, I guess this winds up everything. By this time next week, you should know the outcome of the election. We ain't worried, Lieutenant, and thanks for helping us out. That goes for me, too. Mike, yes, sir. put these ballot boxes in the Lieutenant's wagon for him, will you? And thanks to you and Dick, too, Range Rider. We couldn't have done it without you. It was our pleasure, Kate. We'll be seeing you, and good luck, folks. Be careful of that cargo you're carrying, Lieutenant. It's mighty precious. Don't worry, ma'am. All right, Sergeant, let's go. Well, I gotta get going. I still got a store to look after, you know. For you kids, I just gotta say it again. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I should be the one to say thanks, Kate. We'll follow right behind you. Oh, no hurry. I can take care of myself. You know, she's right. Mr. Morgan, you've undoubtedly done Texas a great service. We'd like to thank you again. Believe me, boys, it was my pleasure. And if you're ever up this way again, stop in and see me. We will. So long. See you, Mr. Morgan. Up with him. Morgan thought he could trust this man. Big joke. Funny how mistaken some people can be. You work for Kirby well. Smart boy. But you're both going to be so dead that you won't be able to tell anybody else. Mind telling us what you did with the ballot box? The boxes? The boxes left with the lieutenant on the army wagon, except there ain't any ballots in them. Don't worry, though. They're in safe hands, Kirby Wells' hands. Well, as long as we're going to be dead anyhow, I don't suppose you'd mind explaining how your boys are going to get those ballots. Not at all. I dumped them at Kate's wagon, then I sent out a messenger. As a matter of fact, in just about three minutes from right now, Kate's in for quite a little surprise. <laughs> Get the guns, Dick. think that I'd let you get away with this selection, did you, Kate? We'll hold another one. You can't stop them all. I wouldn't bet on that, Miss Dawson. All right, build a fire and let's put these ballots in.
Stop that nonsense and I'll blow your heads off. All right, get up. We'll put them on ice cage. The state of Texas can decide what to do with them. Congratulations, Kate. Believe me, you deserve them. Thanks. You know, I've always wanted some place to be from, and now I've got one. Adios. Hasta la vista.